Are you ready to master English in a fun and easy way? Whether you're just starting out or you've been learning for a while, there's something here for everyone. This video depicts the daily life of Maria, a student who also works part-time. It's divided into 10 chapters, each featuring common, everyday sentences used in English. Watch the video attentively to learn English along with me. Hi there. My name is Maria, and I'm a 22-year-old university student juggling multiple responsibilities in my daily life. Besides attending classes, I also work part-time at a company to support myself financially. On top of that, I have a loving boyfriend named David, who adds joy and excitement to my life. As a young adult trying to balance academics, work, and personal relationships, having a structured routine is essential for me to stay organized and manage my time effectively. In this series, I'll be sharing 10 different aspects of my daily routines, each focusing on a specific area of my life. From my morning rituals to my bedtime routine, you'll get a glimpse into how I navigate through my busy days while striving to maintain a healthy balance between my responsibilities and personal well-being. Join me as I break down my routines into simple, easy-to-follow steps using basic sentences and vocabulary to ensure clarity and understanding. Whether you're a fellow student, a working professional, or simply curious about how others manage their daily lives, I hope you'll find inspiration and practical tips in my journey through the routines of a young university student with a zest for life. Let's dive in. Chapter 1. Morning Routine Every day my morning routine helps me start the day on the right foot. It's important to begin the day with positive energy and a clear mind, so I have a set of simple tasks that I follow each morning. First thing in the morning, I wake up to the sound of my alarm clock. It's set for the same time every day so my body gets used to waking up at that time. Once I'm awake, I stretch my arms and legs to shake off any sleepiness. After stretching, I sit up in bed and take a few deep breaths. This helps me wake up my body and mind, preparing me for the day ahead. Sometimes I like to say a little morning prayer or affirmation to set a positive intention for the day. Next, I get out of bed and make it neatly. Making my bed gives me a sense of accomplishment right from the start of the day. It also helps me feel more organized and ready to tackle whatever comes my way. Once my bed is made, I head to the bathroom to freshen up. I brush my teeth using toothpaste and a toothbrush, making sure to brush for at least two minutes. Good dental hygiene is important for keeping my teeth healthy and my breath fresh. After brushing my teeth, I splash some water on my face to wake myself up. This helps me feel more alert and ready to face the day. Then, I wash my face with a gentle cleanser to remove any dirt or oil that has accumulated overnight. With my face feeling clean and refreshed, I move on to my hair. I comb through it to remove any tangles and style it however I like. Sometimes I tie it up in a ponytail or bun for convenience, while other times I leave it down to frame my face. Once I'm done in the bathroom, I head to my closet to pick out an outfit for the day. 
I like to choose something comfortable yet stylish, so I feel confident throughout the day. Whether it's a cozy sweater and jeans or a cute dress and flats, I always make sure to dress in a way that makes me feel good about myself. With my outfit chosen, I put it on and check myself in the mirror to make sure everything looks okay. If I need to, I'll make any last-minute adjustments to my hair or clothing. Then I grab my bag and any other essentials I need for the day before heading to the kitchen for breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so I always make sure to eat something nutritious to fuel my body and mind. I usually have cereal with milk and a piece of fruit, or sometimes I'll make myself some toast with peanut butter and banana slices. Whatever I choose, I make sure it's something that will give me energy and keep me satisfied until lunchtime. As I eat breakfast, I take the time to savor each bite and enjoy the quiet moments before the hustle and bustle of the day begins. Sometimes I'll read the newspaper or scroll through social media on my phony while I eat, but other times I'll simply sit in silence and appreciate the peace and quiet. Once I've finished eating, I clean up my dishes and put them in the sink. Then, I grab my bag and head out the door, ready to tackle whatever the day has in store for me. With my morning routine complete, I feel refreshed, energized, and ready to take on the world. Chapter 2 Work Routine after finishing my morning routine, it's time for me to head to work. Working part-time at a company while attending university keeps me busy, but I've developed a routine that helps me manage both responsibilities effectively. First, I make sure to check my schedule to see what time I need to be at work. I keep track of my shifts using a planner or my phone, so I always know when I'm supposed to be working. Once I know what time I need to be at work, I gather everything I need for the day. This usually includes my work uniform, any necessary documents or tools, and my lunch if I've prepared it ahead of time. Before leaving the house, I double-check to make sure I have everything I need. There's nothing worse than forgetting something important when you're already on your way to work. Once I'm ready to go, I head out the door and make my way to the company where I work. Depending on how far away it is, I might walk, ride my bike, or take public transportation. When I arrive at work, I clock in and greet my coworkers with a smile. It's important to start the day on a positive note and be friendly to everyone around you. Throughout my shift, I focus on completing my tasks to the best of my ability, whether it's answering phones, assisting customers, or working on projects. I always give it my all. During breaks, I take the opportunity to relax and recharge. I might grab a snack from the break room, chat with coworkers, or simply take a few minutes to myself to unwind. As the day goes on, I stay focused and productive, making sure to stay on top of my responsibilities. If I have any questions or need help with something, I'm not afraid to ask for assistance from my coworkers or supervisor. When my shift is over, I clock out and say goodbye to my coworkers. It's important to leave work on a positive note and show gratitude for the opportunity to work with such great people. After work, I head home and take some time to relax and unwind. 
Whether it's watching TV, reading a book, or spending time with friends and family, I make sure to take care of myself and recharge for the next day. Overall, my work routine is all about staying organized, staying focused, and giving it my all. By following this routine, I am able to balance my job with my studies and other responsibilities, ensuring that I stay on track and achieve my goals. Chapter 3 University Routine As a university student, my days are filled with classes, studying, and extracurricular activities. Having a routine helps me stay on top of my coursework and make the most of my time on campus. My university routine begins with checking my class schedule for the day. I make sure to know where each class is located and what time it starts so I can arrive on time. Once I know my schedule, I gather my backpack and any necessary materials for the day. This might include textbooks, notebooks, pens, and my laptop. I head to my first class of the day, making sure to arrive a few minutes early to find a good seat. It's important to be punctual and respectful of the professor's time. During class, I listen attentively to the lecture and take notes to help me remember important information. If I have any questions, I'm not afraid to raise my hand and ask for clarification. Between classes, I use the break time to grab a snack, chat with classmates, or review my notes. It's important to take breaks throughout the day to rest my mind and recharge. After my last class of the day, I head to the library or a quiet study area to do homework and study for upcoming exams. I find a comfortable spot and get to work, focusing on one task at a time. If I have any assignments or projects due, I make sure to prioritize them and allocate enough time to complete them before the deadline. Procrastination is my enemy, so I try to stay organized and work ahead whenever possible. Sometimes I meet up with classmates for study sessions or group projects. Collaborating with others can help me understand difficult concepts and stay motivated. In the evenings, I attend club meetings or events on campus. These extracurricular activities allow me to pursue my interests outside of academics and meet new people. After a long day of classes and studying, I head home and unwind. I take some time to relax and do something enjoyable, whether it's watching TV, playing video games, or spending time with friends. Before bed, I review my schedule for the next day and make a to-do list of tasks I need to accomplish. This helps me feel prepared and organized for the day ahead. Finally, I get ready for bed and settle in for a good night's sleep. It's important to get enough rest so I can wake up refreshed and ready to tackle another day of university life. Overall, my university routine is all about balancing academics, extracurricular activities, and personal time. By following this routine, I'm able to stay focused, motivated, and successful in my studies. Chapter 4. Cleaning Routine Keeping my living space clean and organized is important to me as it helps me feel calm and focused. I have a simple cleaning routine that I follow regularly to maintain a tidy environment. First, I start by making my bed every morning. 
It's a quick and easy task that instantly makes my room look neater. Plus, it sets a positive tone for the rest of the day. Next, I tackle any clutter in my room. I put away clothes, shoes, and other items that are lying around, making sure everything has a designated place. This helps prevent my room from feeling messy and chaotic. Once the clutter is taken care of, I dust surfaces like shelves, desks, and bedside tables. I use a microfiber cloth and a gentle cleaner to remove dust and dirt, leaving everything looking shiny and clean. After dusting, I vacuum the floors to remove any dirt, crumbs, or pet hair. I make sure to get into all the corners and under furniture to ensure a thorough clean. If my room needs a deeper clean, I'll mop the floors as well. I use a mop and mild cleaner to remove any stains or spills, leaving the floors looking fresh and spotless. In the bathroom, I clean the sink, toilet, and shower regularly to prevent buildup of grime and bacteria. I use a bathroom cleaner and scrub brush to tackle tough stains, making sure to rinse everything thoroughly. I also make sure to wipe down surfaces like countertops and mirrors to keep them clean and streak-free. A little bit of glass cleaner and a paper towel or cloth is all it takes to make everything sparkle. In the kitchen, I clean up after myself whenever I cook or eat. I wash dishes, wipe down countertops, and sweep the floor to keep everything tidy. I also take out the trash regularly to prevent odors and pests. Once a week, I do a more thorough clean of my entire living space. This includes tasks like changing sheets, washing towels, and dusting or vacuuming hard-to-reach areas. I also take the time to declutter and organize any areas that have become messy or disorganized, this helps me feel more relaxed and focused in my space. Throughout the day, I try to clean up messes as they happen to prevent them from becoming bigger problems later on. Whether it's wiping up spills, putting away dishes, or tidying up after myself, I make an effort to keep my space clean and inviting. By following this cleaning routine regularly, I'm able to maintain a tidy and organized living environment. It helps me feel more productive, relaxed, and happy in my space, allowing me to focus on the things that matter most to me. Chapter 5. Cooking Routine Cooking is a skill that I've been learning and improving on, and having a cooking routine helps me prepare delicious and nutritious meals for myself and my loved ones. Here's a glimpse into my simple cooking routine. I start by planning my meals for the week. I like to make a list of recipes I want to try and ingredients I need to buy. Planning ahead saves time and ensures that I have everything I need on hand when it's time to cook. Once I have my meal plan, I head to the grocery store to stock up on ingredients. I make sure to buy fresh fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and pantry staples like spices, oils, and sauces. Back at home, I organize my groceries and prep ingredients for the week. I wash and chop vegetables, marinate meats, and portion out ingredients for easy meal prep later on. When it's time to cook, I start by preheating the oven or stove and gathering all the necessary pots, pans, and utensils. 
It's important to have everything ready before I begin cooking to save time and avoid any last-minute stress. I follow recipes carefully, measuring ingredients and following cooking instructions step by step. Even though I'm still learning, I find that following recipes helps me feel more confident in the kitchen and ensures that my meals turn out delicious every time. While my food is cooking, I use the time to clean up and tidy the kitchen. I wash dishes as I go, wipe down countertops, and put away ingredients and utensils once I'm done with them. Keeping a clean and organized kitchen makes cooking more enjoyable and less stressful. Once my meal is ready, I plate it up and garnish it with fresh herbs or a drizzle of sauce for extra flavor. I take a moment to admire my handiwork before sitting down to enjoy my meal. After eating, I clean up the dishes and leftovers making sure to store any unused food properly in the fridge or freezer. I hate wasting food, so I try to plan my meals in a way that minimizes leftovers and encourages me to use up ingredients before they spoil. Throughout the week, I like to mix things up by trying new recipes and experimenting with different flavors and cuisines. Cooking is a creative outlet for me, and I love the challenge of trying new things and expanding my culinary skills. On busy days when I don't have time to cook, I keep things simple with easy-to-make meals like salads, sandwiches, or stir-fries. It's important to have quick and healthy options on hand for those days when I'm short on time or energy. At the end of the day, Cooking is not just about nourishing my body, but also about connecting with loved ones and expressing myself creatively. Whether I'm cooking for myself or for others, I put love and care into every dish I make, and I find joy in sharing delicious meals with the people I care about. Chapter 6 Exercise Routine Exercise is an important part of my daily routine, helping me stay healthy, energized, and focused. Here's a look at my simple exercise routine. I start my day with some light stretching and warm-up exercises. This helps loosen up my muscles and prepare my body for more intense physical activity later on. Next, I move on to cardio exercises like jogging, cycling, or jumping rope. Cardiovascular exercise gets my heart pumping and improves my endurance, helping me build stamina and burn calories. After cardio, I focus on strength training exercises to build and tone my muscles. This might include body weight exercises like push ups, squats, and lunges, or using free weights or resistance bands for added resistance. I make sure to work different muscle groups on different days to give my body time to recover and prevent injury. For example, I might focus on upper body exercises one day and lower body exercises the next. In addition to strength training, I also incorporate flexibility exercises like yoga or stretching into my routine. Flexibility exercises help improve my range of motion, prevent injury, and promote relaxation and stress relief. I aim to exercise for at least 30 minutes to an hour each day, but even short bursts of activity throughout the day can add up and make a difference in my overall health and well-being. On days when I can't make it to the gym or go for a run outside, 
I find ways to stay active at home. This might include doing a workout video online, going for a walk around the neighborhood, or even just dancing around my living room to my favorite music. I make sure to listen to my body and take rest days when I need them. Rest is just as important as exercise for allowing my body to recover and rebuild, so I make sure to prioritize rest and relaxation in my routine. In addition to physical benefits, exercise also has mental and emotional benefits for me. It helps reduce stress, improve my mood, and boost my confidence, leaving me feeling happier and more positive overall. After my workout, I make sure to cool down with some gentle stretching and deep breathing exercises. This helps bring my heart rate down gradually and prevents muscle soreness. Finally, I make sure to stay hydrated throughout the day by drinking plenty of water before, during, and after my workouts. Proper hydration is essential for staying energized and performing at my best. Overall, exercise is an important part of my daily routine that I prioritize for my physical and mental well-being. By staying active and making exercise a regular part of my life, I feel stronger, healthier, and happier every day. Chapter 7. Self-Care Routine Taking care of myself is essential for my overall well-being, and I have a simple self-care routine that helps me feel rejuvenated and balanced. Here's a glimpse into my self-care routine. I start my self-care routine by setting aside some time each day to relax and unwind. This might include taking a warm bath, meditating, or simply sitting quietly and taking deep breaths. During my relaxation time, I like to do things that help me feel calm and centered. This might include listening to soothing music, practicing mindfulness, or doing a guided relaxation exercise. Next, I focus on skin care. I cleanse my face with a gentle cleanser to remove dirt and oil, then follow up with a moisturizer to keep my skin hydrated and healthy. I also make sure to apply sunscreen daily to protect my skin from the sun's harmful rays. In addition to skin care, I also prioritize oral hygiene. I brush my teeth twice a day using fluoride toothpaste and a soft bristled toothbrush to keep my teeth clean and healthy. I also floss daily to remove plaque and prevent cavities. After taking care of my skin and teeth, I like to do something that makes me feel good about myself. This might include doing my makeup, styling my hair, or putting on a favorite outfit. Looking good on the outside helps me feel confident and ready to tackle the day. Throughout the day, I make sure to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Proper hydration is important for maintaining healthy skin, digestion, and overall bodily functions. In addition to drinking water, I also make sure to eat nutritious foods that nourish my body and provide me with energy. I focus on eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Exercise is another important aspect of my self-care routine. I make sure to incorporate physical activity into my daily routine. Whether it's going for a run, doing yoga, or taking a dance class. Exercise helps me relieve stress, boost my mood, and improve my overall health and well-being. 
in addition to physical self-care, I also prioritize mental and emotional self-care. This might include practicing gratitude, journaling, or talking to a friend or therapist about my feelings. Taking care of my mental and emotional health is just as important as taking care of my physical health. Before bed, I make sure to wind down and prepare myself for a restful night's sleep. This might include doing some gentle stretching, reading a book, or practicing relaxation techniques like deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation. Finally, I make sure to get enough sleep each night to allow my body and mind to rest and recharge. I aim for at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep per night, as getting enough sleep is essential for my overall health and well-being. By following this self-care routine regularly, I'm able to prioritize my physical, mental, and emotional health, ensuring that I feel happy, healthy, and balanced every day. Chapter 8 Commute Routine Navigating my way to and from work and university can be a significant part of my day, and having a routine for my commute helps me make the most of this time. Here's a look at my simple commute routine. When it's time to leave for work or university, I make sure to check the weather forecast to see if I need to dress accordingly or bring an umbrella. Being prepared for the weather helps me stay comfortable during my commute. Next, I gather all the essentials I need for the day, including my backpack, wallet, keys, and any documents or materials I might need. I also make sure to grab a water bottle and a snack to keep me hydrated and satisfied during my journey. Depending on the distance to my destination and the time available, I choose the most convenient mode of transportation for my commute. This might include walking, biking, driving, or taking public transportation like buses or trains. If I'm walking or biking, I make sure to wear comfortable shoes and dress appropriately for the weather. I also make sure to stay alert and aware of my surroundings to ensure my safety. If I'm driving, I make sure to check the traffic conditions and plan my route accordingly to avoid any delays or congestion. I also make sure to follow all traffic laws and drive safely to ensure my own safety and the safety of others on the road. If I'm taking public transportation, I make sure to check the schedule and plan my journey accordingly. I also make sure to have my fare or ticket ready and wait for the bus or train in a safe and designated area. During my commute, I use the time to relax and unwind. I might listen to music, a podcast, or an audiobook, or simply enjoy the scenery around me. This helps me start the day on a positive note and sets a relaxed tone for the rest of the day. If I'm driving, I make sure to focus on the road and avoid distractions like texting or talking on the phone. Safety is my top priority so I make sure to stay focused and attentive while driving. If I'm taking public transportation, I use the time to catch up on reading, studying, or other tasks that I can do while sitting. This helps me make the most of my time and stay productive during my commute. Once I arrive at my destination, I make sure to thank the bus driver or train conductor if I took public transportation. It's important to show gratitude and appreciation for the service they provide. If I'm driving, I make sure to park my car safely and securely before heading to my destination. I also make sure to double-check that I have all my belongings with me before leaving the car. 
Overall, my commute routine is all about staying safe, relaxed, and productive while traveling to and from work and university. By following this routine, I'm able to make the most of my commute time and start and end my day on a positive note. Chapter 9 Relaxation Routine after a long day of work or university, it's important for me to unwind and relax. Having a relaxation routine helps me distress and recharge for the next day. Here's a glimpse into my simple relaxation routine. First, I create a calm and cozy environment in my home. I dim the lights, light some candles or diffuse essential oils, and put on some soft music to create a relaxing atmosphere. Next, I change into comfortable clothing like pajamas or loungewear. Being comfortable helps me feel more relaxed and at ease. Once I'm comfortable, I take some time to do something I enjoy. This might include reading a book, watching a movie or TV show, or listening to music or a podcast. If I'm feeling particularly stressed or tense, I like to do some gentle stretching or yoga to help release tension from my body. Stretching helps loosen up tight muscles and promotes relaxation and stress relief. After stretching, I might take a warm bath or shower to further relax my muscles and soothe my mind. Adding some bath salts or bubble bath can enhance the experience and make it even more enjoyable. While in the bath or shower, I take the time to practice mindfulness and focus on the present moment. I pay attention to the sensation of the warm water on my skin and the sound of my breath, allowing myself to fully relax and let go of any worries or stress. After my bath or shower, I indulge in some self-care activities like skin care or grooming. I might apply a face mask, moisturize my skin, or do my nails to pamper myself and make myself feel good. Once I've taken care of my body, I take some time to quiet my mind and practice relaxation techniques like deep breathing or meditation. These techniques help calm my mind and promote a sense of inner peace and tranquility. If I'm feeling hungry, I prepare myself a light and healthy snack to enjoy while I relax. This might include fruit and yogurt, nuts and seeds, or a small sandwich. Eating something nutritious helps replenish my energy and satisfy my hunger without making me feel too full or sluggish. Throughout my relaxation routine, I make sure to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Hydration is important for maintaining optimal bodily functions and promoting overall well-being. As the evening goes on, I continue to do activities that help me relax and unwind. This might include journaling, practicing gratitude, or spending time with loved ones. Before bed, I take some time to wind down and prepare myself for sleep. I turn off electronic devices like phones and computers at least an hour before bed to give my brain time to relax and unwind. Finally, I climb into bed and do some gentle stretching or deep breathing exercises to help me relax and prepare for sleep. I make sure to keep my bedroom cool, dark, and quiet to promote a restful night's sleep. By following this relaxation routine regularly, I'm able to distress and recharge after a long day, ensuring that I wake up feeling refreshed and ready to tackle whatever the day brings. Chapter 10 Weekend Routine The weekend is a time for me to relax, recharge, and do things I enjoy. 
Having a weekend routine helps me make the most of my free time and ensures that I have a good balance between rest and activities. Here's a glimpse into my simple weekend routine. On Saturday mornings, I like to sleep in a little later than usual to catch up on rest. After waking up, I start my day with a leisurely breakfast of my favorite foods, like pancakes or eggs and toast. Once I've had breakfast, I take some time to plan out my weekend activities. This might include chores and errands that need to be done, as well as fun activities and outings that I want to do. If there are any household chores that need to be done, like cleaning or laundry, I tackle them first thing in the morning. Getting chores out of the way early frees up the rest of the day for more enjoyable activities. After finishing chores, I like to do something active and outdoorsy. This might include going for a hike, taking a bike ride, or going for a walk in the park. Being outside in nature helps me feel refreshed and rejuvenated. In the afternoon, I might meet up with friends or family for lunch or coffee. Spending time with loved ones is important to me, and weekends are the perfect time to catch up and connect with them. If I have any hobbies or interests that I want to pursue, like painting or gardening, I use the weekend as an opportunity to indulge in them. Hobbies help me relax and unwind, and they also give me a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment. In the evening, I like to have a cozy night in. This might include watching a movie or TV show, reading a book, or playing board games with friends or family. I also make sure to have a delicious dinner, either cooked at home or ordered in from my favorite restaurant. On Sundays, I like to start my day with some self-care and relaxation. This might include doing some yoga or meditation, taking a long bath, or simply lounging in bed with a cup of tea and a good book. After relaxing in the morning, I take some time to plan out my week ahead. This might include setting goals and priorities for the week, organizing my schedule, and making to-do lists. In the afternoon, I like to do something productive and fulfilling. This might include volunteering, working on personal projects, or learning something new. I find that being productive on Sundays helps me feel motivated and prepared for the week ahead. In the evening, I wind down and prepare for the week ahead. This might include meal prepping for the week, doing some light cleaning and tidying, and getting things ready for Monday morning. Before bed, I take some time to relax and unwind. This might include doing some gentle stretching or deep breathing exercises, journaling about my day, or simply reflecting on the weekend and feeling grateful for the time spent with loved ones and doing things I enjoy. Overall, my weekend routine is all about finding a balance between relaxation, productivity, and fun. By following this routine, I'm able to make the most of my free time and start the new week feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Bonus Chapter Friendship with David My friendship with David is one of the most important and cherished parts of my life. We met a few years ago, and since then we've become inseparable friends. Here's a glimpse into our simple and loving friendship. David and I share a deep bond built on trust, understanding, and mutual respect. We enjoy spending time together, whether it's going for walks, watching movies, or just hanging out and talking. One of the things I love most about David is his sense of humor. 
He always knows how to make me laugh, even when I'm feeling down. We share inside jokes and funny stories that bring us closer together. David is also incredibly supportive and encouraging. He's always there for me when I need a shoulder to lean on or someone to talk to. He listens attentively and offers words of wisdom and comfort when I'm facing challenges. In addition to being a great friend, David is also my boyfriend. Our romantic relationship adds another layer of depth and intimacy to our friendship. We share romantic gestures, affectionate moments, and special memories that strengthen our bond even further. Despite our romantic relationship, David and I are first and foremost best friends. We enjoy each other's company and value our friendship above all else. We're able to be ourselves around each other, without any pretense or judgment. We support each other's dreams and aspirations, cheering each other on as we pursue our goals. Whether it's starting a new job, pursuing a hobby, or overcoming a personal challenge, we're always there for each other every step of the way. Communication is key in our friendship, and we make sure to communicate openly and honestly with each other. We talk about our feelings, fears, and hopes, knowing that we can trust each other with our deepest thoughts and emotions. One of our favorite things to do together is explore new places and try new things. Whether it's trying a new restaurant, visiting a museum, or going on a road trip, we love embarking on adventures together and creating lasting memories. We also enjoy quiet moments together, just enjoying each other's company in silence. Whether we're cuddled up on the couch watching TV or sitting together in companionable silence, being with David makes me feel happy and content. In times of conflict or disagreement, we make sure to communicate calmly and respectfully with each other. We listen to each other's perspectives and work together to find solutions that are mutually beneficial and respectful of each other's feelings. Despite our differences, we have a strong foundation of love and friendship that helps us navigate any challenges that come our way. We're committed to supporting each other and working through any obstacles that may arise in our relationship. One of the things I appreciate most about David is his kindness and compassion. He's always there to lend a helping hand, whether it's to me a friend or a stranger in need. His generosity and empathy inspire me to be a better person every day. Overall, my friendship with David is a source of joy, love, and happiness in my life. He's not just my boyfriend, he's my best friend, confidant, and partner in crime, I'm grateful every day for his presence in my life, and I cherish the special bond we share. As we wrap up our discussion on various routines I shared, I want to take a moment to thank you all for joining me on this journey. I hope you found our exploration of simple English sentences and everyday routines helpful in improving your language skills. Before we conclude, I'd love to hear your feedback. Did you enjoy this video? Was it helpful in learning English through easy sentences? Please let me know in the comment section below. Your feedback is invaluable and will help me create more content that meets your needs and interests. Remember, learning a new language takes time and practice but with dedication and perseverance, you can achieve your goals. Keep practicing, keep learning, 
and never hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy 